Hey, good morning everybody. We're back in the paint booth. The uh, sun is just coming up and we're getting ready to uh, start putting the finest paint on here. Uh, I like painting when the world is peaceful. Nobody's out of bed yet. And uh, we're going to give our final clean. I just came in this morning and I washed everything down one more time. What I have here is a painter's tack cloth. Uh, they come all neatly folded up in the package, take it out, crinkle it up. We've got our air gun. We're going to be blowing. At the same time, we're going to be rubbing the tack cloth lightly across here. That's going to get rid of everything. Now, I'm explaining it now because I'm going to have to turn the fans on. Uh, from this point forward, the fans are going to be on. And when we give everything the final blow down, everything will get caught in the filters. And we'll have nice, clean surfaces to paint on. Uh, you won't be able to hear me talking or anything with the fans on. So just going to blow every surface down and go over it with this tack cloth. This will get any remaining residue or any remaining junk that's on the, any part, in the body, anywhere. On the dash, the grill, the tailgate, the fenders. That's going to take care of everything for you. Uh, you see I've got a, a suit on. Um, like I say, you get a lot of paint from either the painter himself or herself. And... Uh, in the body. So everything's going to get blown down. I'll blow myself off. We'll get the fans on and uh, I'll come back with you and uh, try and get to some shots of the paint going down. Okay hey guys, I'm just going to kind of creep around in here a little bit, not disturb the air or anything. We've got everything painted. There's the hood shining. Dash. Body came out very nice. Underside, inside. Same thing on the fenders. You can see a light shining off them. Okay, fans are off and we're just going to let this sit and dry. There's the tailgate. You can see the ceiling reflecting in there, the intake filters. We've got good gloss. Uh, I'm happy the way everything came out. We're just going to scoot out of here and let everything set up. You know, we're going to have touch-ups to do over here where the hinges are, where the thing is attached to it, the, the rotisserie. Um, I've still got to paint the hinges uh, for the hood and the tailgate and I got to paint the door for the dash uh, for the glove box so we've got another session of painting but the bulk of it is done and there it is you can see me right in the camera in the reflection very nice gloss and you get a better gloss when you use a slow reducer like we did so just little tricks of the trade. Um, this is going to dry uh, slower than if we had a fast reducer. So we're just going to scoot out of here and let that happen. Okay guys, here we are on the bench. Uh, we started out with five quarts of material. Uh, two gallons with two and a half quarts in each one. And we've just got a We've got a little bit left in the second one. So that body, fenders, uh, everything that we did, that took uh, 
just a little over four quarts of paint and you get a little bit more because you mix it for 411 uh, we had um, uh, five big mixes you can see all our sticks here we mixed uh, five times and it was four parts of the paint one part of the hardener and we used the 85 and up uh, temperature reducer remember a slow reducer so <clears throat> Uh, just in case you guys are trying to figure out how much paint you're going to need, uh, everybody paints a little bit differently. I've got uh, two coats on the bottom, uh, two coats inside, three coats uh, where the where, where your feet are going to be uh, on the front floors. Uh, I've got uh, two wet coats on the outside of the body. Um, so between two and three coats on, on a lot of stuff, and it's going to take you... Uh, <clears throat> like I say, a little over four quarts of paint, and that gets you about five quarts of sprayable material. Um, hey, some guys like to put it on thin, some guys like to put it on thick. Uh, there is a happy medium right in the middle, and, and I hope this uh, helps you figure how much paint you're going to need. And it depends on what you're using. Uh, this is a single stage urethane. If you're using a base clear, it may be a little different. If you're using an enamel, which I wouldn't recommend, but I still see guys do it, um, you might need a little more. But um, we're just going to get cleaned up, get out of these sticky clothes, and, uh, and let everything dry. Uh, the whole entire uh, spraying, flipping the body, flipping it again, uh, flipping all the parts, the grill, the tailgate, all that. Um, you you got to plan for at least a half a day or more to do that. Um, there's a lot of spraying, there's a lot of back and forth mixing a quart, going back out, mixing a quart, going back out. It's, it's a process. You can't have any interruptions. You can't have to uh, answer the phone. You just got to be in the zone when you're painting. So um, plan for it. We're going to get this gun cleaned. I know uh, somebody asked me how I clean the gun. There's really, really no secrets. Uh, lacquer thinner. And get scrubbing. Just get uh, it'll wash right off if you clean the gun uh, right after you're done painting. Uh, take it apart, clean all the parts inside, clean all the passages, and you'll be good and ready to go for next time. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy seeing the uh, blues on red go down. And we'll take one more look at it. And there it is. Matt, I hope you're seeing this video and you're happy with the color and uh, we're really coming along. We'll get this body out of here, we'll get the chassis in there and uh, get that gloss black and then put the two together and uh, shouldn't be long now. Okay everybody, thanks for watching as always and I'll see you on the next one.